Hello everyone. Let's start with soil mechanics. And in soil mechanics, we'll begin with soil water relationships. And to un understand that, the very first concept is to understand the phase diagram. So it is a way of representing the soil mass. And so we make this diagram. And in the bottom, we denote we represent the solids, and above that water. And if air is there, then above that air. So on the left hand side, we denote the volume of all the all the constituent parameters, and on the right hand side, we show the weight of the parameters. So the soil sample may exist in a three phase or in a two phase condition. It cannot exist in a single phase condition, which means that soil solids cannot be compacted to such a stage that there will not be any voids. Some voids will always be there, and so air will always be there in the system. So, if it is a partially saturated soil, which means that all the pores which are there are not filled with water. So, some pores are filled with water, and some pores are filled with air. So, it is a partially partially saturated sample. So, for that, on the left hand side, V S represents the volume of solids. V W L represents the volume of water and V A represents the volume of air. V W plus V A repre represents the volume of voids. And on the right hand side, the W S represents the weight of solids and W W represents the weight of water. And weight of air we is negligible compared to the other two, so we take it as zero. If it is a fully saturated sample, then all the void voids which are there will be will be filled with water, so there are no no air voids, and in that case we will have the volume of solids and volume of water, and similarly weight of solids and weight of water. And if it is a completely dry sample, so only solids and air will be there, no pores will be filled with water, so we will have volume of solids and volume of air. And on the right hand side, we'll have volume weight of solids because weight of air is again zero. So there are some important definitions in the soil mechanics. So let's see them one by one. First is water content. So we denote it with small w, and it is defined as weight of water to the weight of solids. So in a soil system this is solid water air this is weight of water so weight of water can be greater than weight of solids and it can be less than solid weight of solids also or it can be equal to zero also so with this the water can water content will be equal to greater than equal to zero there it means there is no upper limit on the water content similarly next definition is void ratio it is denoted with small e it is defined as volume of voids to the volume of solids again in this case volume of voids can be greater than volume of solids or it can be less than volume of solids also so there is no upper limit on the volume of solid volume of voids so the value of void ratio can be anything between 0 to infinity but it can it cannot be zero also because there will be there will always be some voids so it is always greater than zero here one thing to notice is that we consider the uh, soil mass as incompressible so weight of so volume of solids will be fixed because it is incompressible next definition is porosity we denote it with n n is equal to volume of voids to the total volume and it is normally denoted in percentage so what is the difference between void ratio and porosity 
the void ratio compares the volume of voids with respect to volume of solids whereas the porosity compares the volume of voids with respect to the total volume so the volume of voids cannot exceed the total volume and volume of voids cannot become equal to the total volume also so the volume uh, so the value of n will be between 0 to 100 in the engineering when we consider the when we'll see the later units like consolidation there we'll use void ratio more than porosity because as i said the volume of solids is constant so if the soil is compressing then only the volume of voids will change so e value will change just because of the volume of voids but in the porosity both numerator and denominator are changing volume of voids is changing and total volume will also change so we cannot justify using the value of n in that case next definition is degree of saturation is denoted with s and it is equal to volume of water to the volume of voids it is also denoted in percentage so it shows us that how many voids are filled with water so its value can vary between 0 to 100 when the sample is fully saturated so s will be equal to 100 percent or 1 for fully saturated soil similarly next definition is percentage air voids it is denoted with an a and it is equal to volume of air voids to the total volume to 100 and after that next definition is air content it is denoted with ac and it is equal to volume of air voids to the volume of voids so it can also be written as total voids minus voids filled with water divided by volume of voids because volume of air voids is nothing but the total voids minus voids filled with water so it is equal to this will cancel out so 1 minus volume of water divided by volume of voids which is nothing but s so air contained is equal to 1 minus saturation 1 minus degree of saturation similarly we can write it as uh, if we multiply porosity and air content so n into ac will be equal to volume of voids to the total volume into air content is volume of air to the volume of voids it will cancel out so volume of air voids to the total volume and which is equal to the volume of percentage void ratio so percentage void ratio is equal to n times air content next definition is definition is the bulk unit weight so it is defined as the total weight of the soil mass with respect to its volume so we denote it as gamma t and it is the total weight divided by total volume means volume of solids plus volume of water 
weight of solids plus weight of water divided by total volume that is volume of solids plus volume of water plus volume of air its unit is normally preferred unit is kilonewton per meter cube next is unit weight of solids so similarly we can write gamma s is equal to weight of solids to the volume of solids its unit is also same it is denoted in kilonewton per meter cube similarly we can write for the unit weight of water also that will be weight of water to the weight volume of water and then next is dry unit weight it is denoted with gamma d and that is weight of solids divided by total volume after that it is saturated unit weight and to be denoted a comma set and that is weight of saturated sample of soil weight of saturated soil sample divided by volume of sample and after that it is submerged unit weight it is denoted gamma dash or gamma submerged it is equal to submerged weight divided by total volume and it is also equal to saturated unit weight minus unit weight of water